My name is Sam Russell. One day I was out with my brand new video camera when suddenly a war broke out. It seems the world is under attack by a strange alien force. I've been hiding out in the woods and recording my survival story via the camcorder I had on me. I have made friends. I have seen people die. And I have fought. I don't know how long I'll survive, or what I'll discover. But all I know is, I'm going to do the best I can to survive this war. Hi. Day 64. Um, lots been happening recently. I just remembered I need to be recording some of this. First of all, everyone, Chris Jackson is still alive! Anyone who's been watching all these cards in order, hopefully you've been able to find him. I mean, I've been numbering them, but he's back. He's alive. Thank you. God, he's got quite a story. I'll, I'll record that at some point. He's got quite a story to tell. We're in this house that's been used as a uh, headquarters for a resistance group, which really isn't anything left anymore. Also, um, James. Give me James, everybody. He's another one of the lucky survivors. A few other guys. Matt. Dustin and Adam, they're dead. But, um, they've been showing me a lot of stuff here. We got some good equipment, finally. Uh, this was, uh, Adam's. His machine gun, and, uh, this was Matt's. M14, we used. And who did you say this belonged to? That was Dustin. Uh, it, oh yeah, you said yeah, His this was his uncle's yes. that he gave to him. I was about to say, because to get a Thompson, that's like, that's over a thousand dollars. Oh yeah. Well, used to be. Nowadays. Oh, something I wanted to do. Just thought about it. Let me pull out here. Yours, I believe. Yes. Miss it? <laughs> hey, it served me well. Doesn't have much ammo, but it, I've been able to keep it around. I didn't lose it. Able to use it better than I was. So. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, that was... What day was that? Day 10? Yeah. Day 10 from when you started filming? From, uh, from the invasion. We, I started recording with the invasion. We got everything here. We got radio. We got generator. We still got some food, I think. I mean, I just... Uh, finally, things are looking up. Mm -hmm. Things are finally looking up. Hopefully we can get in contact with other groups. You know, we well, we don't have much left of people. So, uh, none of these are... being used now. Mind if I take one? Since I'm giving your your pistol back, yeah. I'll definitely cool. take this back. I'll, I can take this. It's a nice, uh, nice little 22. Not very powerful, but at least it's something. I like it. Mm -hmm. I'll take the 22, and uh, I'll probably take one of the guns, one of the heavy guns. Probably the M4, maybe the M14, but I'm not that good a shot. I might just take the M4. Um, so. So tell me, um, how much longer do you think we can stay here before generator power and food supply runs out? I'm not sure. I've never, uh, I didn't know how much we have left when we got here. Depends upon fuel use. There's a minimum fuel use, no matter how much power we use. So it just depends upon 
you know, whether or not we can get anything out of the power. If, you know, otherwise it's a matter of maybe shutting it down if we don't really need the power shutting down the generator. Well, well if it's not too hot, we don't need a fan. Well, it's pretty hot and we got a fan running. <laughs> as long as you've got shade, you never know when you're going to need fuel to get out of here or the power to do something. Well, yeah. Well, I mean, so, TV's useless. Yeah, There's no I mean, channels anymore. I mean, we do have radio. Which, by the way, do you mind if I turn it on? Let's see what we can what hear. What the light be broadcasting? Because the commercial bands, it's... Well, we've been getting all the... Immer- I mean, I was at a house uh, not too long ago, and uh, we were getting some... Uh, we were getting some uh, emergency radio reports and right, stuff, yeah. well, movement. Well, on what's still going, because... Well, the whole... You know, the of course, they've been playing some music. Yeah, the whole, the whole the national federal emergency broadcast system, the test was so badly because what stations have been automatically taken over by FEMA... Or whatever is left of the well, government. whatever's left of the government. Yeah, there is that, that whole test failed so miserably. Who knows what connections got through to get information to people? Oh, uh, let me keep trying. I mean, even some of them are just playing some music. I think they're just trying to up morale too. People, they've been. I mean, they play music and then they play some kind of code. Obviously, somebody's trying to communicate with somebody. Was it like just number station style, or was it what letters or... Uh, names. Just weird phrases. I mean, yeah, phrases that made no sense, like... Uh, yeah, some of it was in, uh, one of it was, um, like... I can't remember the name now. It was somebody, like, having a mustache, and the wind blowing east. I have no idea what that meant. That was some kind of code. Wait, shoot, 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 shoot. Probably, yeah, probably using that to... Well, that's a little bit better to yeah, because if they break that kind of code... I'd like to inform our listeners that the battle in the Midwest is not going as well. Good news is that Army Forces in Colorado, with the help of a resistance group, managed to destroy the military compound of the invaders. There was a recent bombing in Tulsa. It's not like it's going too well. The invaders bombing St. Louis and Rome of What? No, you got him kidding me. Everything is gone. Oh. You know, it just... Phased out right there. Did you hear that? Now, back to more music for our fighting men and women. I guess any ideas of ever going back to St. Louis to see St. Louis Arc are out? Nope. Completely blowing up that place. They just bombed it! They just bombed the freaking place. The arch is gone. Well, I don't think they bombed the arch specifically, but I think they were mainly just taking out the major city right there. No, I think it just got hit in the collateral. Uh, now they're going back to music. Oh, let's just let it play. You know, actually, they played a song. One of the songs they played earlier, it was a song, it was in French. I was like, this is America. We're doing an alien invasion, and we have French music playing on our radios. Maybe. Well, it might have been the French version of the old song instead of Celine Dion track. It could have been the French Canadian version. Yeah, or whatever, or maybe in just whatever song they had available. <laughs> but that, that's something that should be kept track of, the, the what frequencies, the times of day, you know, what it was. Yeah. In case, you never know. Well, well, I've been trying to conserve, I mean, I could charge up batteries now, but I'm still trying to conserve memory space. I think I'm going to probably just shut down, maybe turn on a day or two, and just Get away the land and figure out what's going on. Well, time to go tend to injuries here in the first aid kit that we found. Everything okay over there, bro? Yeah, just cleaning out my gun and looking at my mag. I got freaking dunked from that lake in it, so... I'm going to claim that we're going to have to raid some type of sporting goods or gun shop to get proper materials to maintenance and clean with, because what's going on now, you what? have to be tip-top shape. What about your injury, it good? I don't know, hopefully nothing's busted in the bone, you know, hopefully the rods and pins and screws haven't moved at all and I've just messed it and Michael fractured it. Man, there's that's nothing cool. in this first aid kit, that's for sure. I mean, Apparently it's a useless first aid kit. Block. What are you doing with my camera? What? Well, I was just recording. Is it? Is this recording? 
He's just recording. <laughs> Fine, keep recording. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, I just came back from patrol. You, I, I just don't want you to waste too much of that. Oh, I hear you. I just went on patrol, though. I found out we don't have it's any medical now, supplies, it's by the way. It's uh, 65 here. I just got a good look at around, around outside. It's pretty, pretty normal. No crazy aliens? Uh, it's all a couple fighters fly over, but nothing major. The fighters look damaged or they look in good condition. Did you see it all? Yes. I, I, I only did see a little they were high hard, hard, but no, they, they're pretty high up. No and smoke coming from No, the no, okay. uh, enemy, no, well, uh, for uh, us, friendly uh, air units in the area, yeah, so. Yeah, guys stay in no okay shape, that's what I'm concerned about. Yeah. They're the ones doing a heavy battle. Us, we're just... I think we're away with from with any heavy true. battle zones. I mean, this yeah. is fairly outside of town, and I hope so. Hopefully nothing that Vietnam style happens because uh, this, this bread right here, uh, that this is what like put the original lot lot issue in the contract in 1985. So it's old. I mean the frame, the other parts of the place, the frame is old. So it's really? not, not the thing you want to go into the end of the world with. Like <laughs> well, so I mean it's handy for now, but. It's, we need to go steal some arms from the prisons, I promise. We need to go steal some arms from the prisons. We need to get hold of some of the alien weapons, is what we need. Yeah. I've never gotten anywhere close to them, though. Well, have you seen an alien up front? I mean, are we going to be able to use them physically their body structure? I have seen an alien up close. The problem was his weapons were missing. Obviously, they found his weapons. As far as you're finding they're somewhat humanoid structured and height. No, no. You are they big or small? You haven't seen them? No. They're human looking. They look okay. exactly oh, like us. Okay. Like exactly. Okay, so so so, so basically, that they're from a planet with the same gravity, so they're the same body type. Either that, like, or we're dealing with I a very big conspiracy thing mm -hmm. here, but well, I doubt that. Well, there's mo most of their the hand and rifle type weapons will be able for us to handle with a recoil and weight. And yeah, uh, they should be. Hopefully. They're, 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 from what I've seen, I haven't seen too many uh, up close, but they well, seem to have a, um, a very similar frame. Here, let me, oh, look, let me get the M14. Fingers. Uh, to mm. top, do, do the aliens have like two thumbs, four fingers? They and... look exactly good. Okay. I swear I'm well, staring the at the human body. You never know. Yeah. They do. All right. That helps they a lot. They do. Very much. It, their rifles are not too dissimilar from like this. From like this. A rifle. This is, uh, have you seen rifle? just energy weapons or projectiles? They're, or uh, they're energy. energy. They are energy. Oh. Okay. It's scary. Well, hopefully every rifle doesn't have some command code unique to unlock or it's not tied in to a biosignature or a hand implant in, you know, in the alien. Because that would be, that'd be a, a security thing I would use for soldiers have an implant in the hand that authorizes them to use it so if someone captures it. So hopefully if we capture them, we can use them. So one time when you got injured was the only time you actually went into a combat zone? This time. Well, I've, been, I've been in combat before and injured before I've got metal in my leg. Uh, you know, a rod and some screws and stuff. Yeah. Just, you know, obviously I'm a lot more physically limited than I used to be, so now I have to be careful. Yeah. So, so you know, I mean, I mean, Cruz was saying they've been in a couple of engagements, so he's seen some yeah. nailing weapons up close. They uh, don't I, seem to require any special. I'm guessing, yeah, I'd about to say, energy. Last. I just pretty much cauterize any. The thing is that and if they're like us, then projectiles will hurt them, so our weapons should still be able to put a hole through them in their organs. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hand to hand oh, yeah. combat we works. We can kill them. I have never scored a kill yet. Yeah, but we can definitely kill them, but that's the thing. They're exactly human. It except, except what's the differentiating except they're carrying one of those weapons because the minute we capture one, we'll become looking like one of them. How the hell do we tell each other apart? That's well, they do wear... Well, do they people could assume that we were. I can see how people could assume. Hey, but, I mean, they do wear the black battle, the black uh, arm. 
fish Woody wings on their face? Do they have skin pigmentation, it, hair colors? Uh, yeah, well, well, it was the one I saw. I only ever saw one body. Have you seen any different... Uh, okay. Yeah, dark hair. Have you heard any information about different uh, ethnic groups? Did, could, could their plan be like us with multiple races, ethnic groups, origins? All I saw was he looked like a white guy. He looked a lot like me. Okay. He looked a lot like me. That's all I could say. Anything on the radio? Nope. Chicago apparently got burnt to the ground, though. Hi, uh, they're taking out Chicago, they're taking out St. Louis. That's getting close. They're... My biggest question, though, I've often wondered, I've never heard on any of the radio reports, how's the rest of the world faring? I'm not sure. Do, do, do we need to access to a shortwave radio that we can get long for transmissions from? Yeah, but, I mean, it's not, it's not like, it's not like our radios, I mean, they're not even what? That's nice. I like getting in the shower and washing my clothes since we had to get some water here. Why do I only have this freaking bar? I still got a few of those. Well, I, uh, we I gave you an energy bar That's true. for a long time. So you owe me one. <laughs> Just play <laughs> with you. Let's see what the radios get going on today. Oh, by the way, um, been here a while now. Day 70. I made it 70 days in this war. <laughs> we are here now with Joel Reiner, a survivor from the beginning of the invasion. Oh, yeah, one of the sh- lucky sh- ones. Sounds like they're an interview. So, Joel, why don't you tell us Another what happened in those first few what days? He has of to war. Say. Oh, man. The first day, I was walking outside, Dude, and suddenly heard explosions and sirens. I ran as fast as I could. I ended up hiding in a house for a few days. Look good to you, man. Mm-hmm. Didn't mm-hmm. see too much of the invaders. Yeah. So fun. But it was still very nerve wracking. <sighs> I lost track of time. Do you guys I didn't keep know these how much longer I was going empty to survive. bullet casings here. I had a camera with me. Mementos? For the first few days. <laughs> but I left so it behind in the house. I don't see how. There's a battle going on all around the neighborhood. trying to make it look like we just went in a battle zone. I'm surprised I lived through it. I see why keeping any of those would be any use. The pulse weapon went off a few times. I'm keep too. some of these. You take some of these with me. So I left that house. Yeah. I met up with the military sure, convoy, don't carry around too much. and they dropped me off at a refugee camp. For me. I don't know where my family is. Oh, I wish there. I knew. No wonder. I'm always doing that. I wish I've had for a while. Like always. Ever lost his family. Did you have uh, family? I really don't well, know. He's not, well, he's not. Thank you, Joel. Well, well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, uh, a survivor's story. Well, he doesn't know where his family now, is. Now that's more reason for all the other survivors oh. out there. Oh. If there are any. Oh, well. Now, back to music. Well, I, 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 I like hearing some good oldies. Oh, and family, by the way. I don't know where they are. I had a parent. I have my mother and father were still living, and I still had. Um, and there was my brother, and I. I don't know where they are. What happened to them? They could be still alive, dead. Oh, I know. Daniel, the guy I was telling you about, that I was with, I wonder, I don't even know if he's still alive, he might have made it, I know he was heading towards his, um, girlfriend's uncle, farm, I'm pretty certain, but, who knows if he made it, it's, I don't know, that was running a little over this thing. You hear that? That sounds sounds like some fighter, but that's the Whoa, we got fighters, we got fighters! We got a lot of fighters! Spot us, did they? No, they wouldn't spot us in here. Come uh, shut up! Hey, you never know. 
Yeah, well, it's scanning us. But that was a whole lot of fires. Now I'm hearing jets. Like little jets. What? Get that off. Get that off. What? I can tell. Air. Do it. Oh. Time to go. All right. I'll stay. All right. Go, go downstairs. Downstairs. Here. Because you got your leg. Just thank you. Use that. Because. Um. Where do you want to cover? You want to cover up here? Yep. I can do that. Fine. They tracked us on that. I don't know what would happen. That thing's still recording? Yes. Whatever. A clue in case we die for the person who finds it. I don't care if it's in the case of... Whatever. We're not gonna die. We must leave a record of humanity's off. last valiant battle. Oh yeah, last valiant battle. Here we go! Fight us! Thank mm-hmm. you.